This is a Flash Forge Creator Pro. I picked it up last year around November. And so it's, a, it's roughly a little over a year old. Well, about a month ago or so, uh, my left extruder started giving me really bad quality prints and eventually it stopped printing all together. I could load it in and the, you know, the, the filament would, would come through, but it would come through really, really slow. Um, but when it went to go print, it just wouldn't print. So I took apart the extruder gear assembly top and, uh, and cleaned the gears off, but it didn't seem to help any. So I'm thinking right now I either have a clogged extruder or my uh, PTFE tubing may be needed. So, uh, I'm going to take all that apart and kind of go through the steps. Okay, so I'm going to remove these two screws here. There's one. assembly piece should just come right out. I'm going to set this here. Okay, so what I've gone done here is uh, I go ahead and heat my extruder up and this makes it easier to take it out. You can see uh, I'm actually taking out the right extruder right now so I turn the left extruder and the platform off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and heat that up and then you should be able to remove those nozzles pretty easy. Okay, so using a non-millimeter wrench, I'm going to take a Allen wrench and just kind of wedge it in here because these heating blocks will move. So now that this guy's heated up, and go ahead and careful not to touch it because it is warm. Go ahead and there we go. Pop that guy loose. Now some people also use a pair of uh, pliers or or adjustable wrench to actually grab onto this part. But this seems to work pretty well too. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen this up. Okay, now that we've loosened this up, we can use a pair of needle nose pliers and we can pull this out. Let's see, there's the PTFE tubing. And, uh, it's cooled off pretty good, so we can take this and just be able to pull it out. You can see that one's actually pretty got a good, nice clog in it, so it needs to be cleaned up. And we can clean this out here. I'm just gonna drop them in there. Leave them in there for a couple days. Okay, so here they are. I let them let these things soak in acetone for about uh, for about five or six hours. And um, I don't know if I can get this to focus, but now you can actually see light coming through uh, some of these holes in here. At least the one hole that's in there. Um, so they're all pretty cleaned out. I took a nylon brush and uh, just kind of cleaned up the heads too and got the rest of the uh, ABS off of there. Now, uh, when I bought my Flash Forge uh, printer, it actually came with a pack of screws here and some other little Allen wrenches, spare, spare curve. They even came out with the, uh, the tubes. Alright, so I came with the PTFE tubes, right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to replace the one that's clogged. I mean, I could try, probably try to clean it out, but I think it would be more of a hassle than anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in. Uh, it's easy enough. You just uh, slide it back in the way it was before. Um, they're kind of a tight fit.
Like a tube in there. <clears throat> So there we go. We got the nozzles back on. Now the easy part. It's just the uh, same way we assembled before. And if let's get the printer and just drop it in to the carriage. And then take the two screws from the bottom and put those in. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. Nozzles have been taken out, cleaned, and replaced. Now I'm going to level the bed, get some filament loaded, and do a couple test prints. So that's a nice clean nozzle. It's coming out very clear and very straight. 